Uh, I'm Brian Rust, and I'm the, uh, the master of ceremonies here today uh, for the Vins Dog Show. I've actually been here for all nine dog shows, so uh, looking forward to it. I, I was a judge for the first couple of years, and they realized that I'm not very good at making decisions, so they thought they'd make me master of ceremonies as opposed to judge. I'm Jane Fleischman, I'm one of the judges. I'm Brian Lombardi, one of the judges, also the high, um, high school principal. No, actually this is my ninth year. Ninth year. Yeah, and my kids have been in Northampton Public Schools for all this time, and I'm a big fan of the public school system, so I wanted to give back. I, I like Fetcher, actually. You know why? It's so funny. When they don't make it, the, the crowd goes crazy, everybody laughs, it's and a they, lot of fun. And they slide a little, yeah, too. They, they slide, slide because of the tarp, so and it's so comical. <laughs> Oh, I, I like the agility. I like, I like seeing them run, yes. Yeah. The neat thing about today is it's, it's, it's good dogs having fun with good dog owners. Uh, it, whether you come home with a ribbon or not really is inconsequential. It's about folks really coming out. And you'll, we'll see all ages. We'll see um, uh, very dedicated, they're all dedicated dog owners and people who love their dogs. And that's really what it's about. I mean, what a great community event to have folks come out and enjoy their dogs. Uh, it, it's it, given the weather. It's a nice, warm place to be, uh, but it's a fun place to be with your dog, and it just doesn't get better than this. This is my dog Fausto. This is, I think, our third year at this event. Um, it's always a lot of fun. All the dogs, the people. Yeah, we actually do a little competing in agil uh, agility. My name is Beth, and my business is It's Possible Dog Training Center and Day Camp. Uh, we've been in business uh, in West Hampton for 18 years. Um, we have dog training, we have dog daycare, we have um, selective boarding, um, we have agility training, we have now have a mobile grooming van. So we have a lot. Yes, I'm Betty Jarvis. This is Montezuma, affectionately known as Monty. Well, um, the good news is, uh, and the bad news is, a few years, because as soon as I got him, um, he kind of put a little uh, impediment in my, in my singing practice, because every time I sing at home, he just goes off, and there's no stopping him. My name is Nan Clark. And I volunteered for this group after I turned 80. I decided that I needed to do something worthwhile with the rest of my life. We take in people's pets, and when we were there, the Red Cross was taking in people in one building, and we were taking their pets in another building. I'm Jonathan, and this is Tonka. He's competing for best singing voice. I will be playing dance celebration, but he'll just howl whatever he likes. Whenever I try to practice, he always is, is barking or singing. Well, there is a lot of preparation. Um, there's a lot of organization. We have to keep track of all the different categories and advertisers and vendors, and we have to reach out to businesses. So it takes a, it takes a considerable amount of work from the board of directors. It's a great show. I think. Um, We've got a uh, wonderful audience um, and great dogs and everything, it's going great. Um, VINS, the Volunteers in Northampton Schools, has been going for over 30 years in Northampton. I think it's a testament to both the quality of our public schools and also the commitment of the members of the community to participate in the public schools. And the dog show's been going for 10 years. This is fantastic. The VINS program is um, integral for not only the high school, but the elementary and the middle school. Um, from volunteers in the library, volunteers in classrooms. They really help us have a much more substantial offering for our students here. Um, it's, it's fantastic. And I think that's one of the great things about Northampton, um, the community and the schools, is there really is a nice community involvement um, from top to bottom, from, from a group like VINS to all our athletic, our theater programs, our art programs. PTO, there is a tremendous amount of community support. So for me, this is my give back to the community and the organizations that help support the work that we do in the high school and the teachers um, every day. So we reach out to the community um, 
to donate different items. So we have all kinds of things from gift cards from businesses like Eastside Grill, Cornucopia, River Valley Market. We also have dog-related gift cards uh, and items. There's a dog bed. There's um, gift cards to Valley Veterinary Hospital. So, and also children's items. There's an A to Z gift card. There's toys, all kinds of things. The thing about the dog show is not really that it raises that much money, but that it's so much fun. We really want to have an event that draws attention to the volunteer program, but also is just fun for the community, for adults and children alike, families to come in in March when it's kind of crummy outside often um, and enjoy just a fun afternoon together on a Saturday.